Following the disastrous release of Redfall, Microsoft decided to confirm the day and time of the Xbox Game Showcase on June 11th, which is going to be at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Right now, we're going to give our predictions for it. We're here with Crowd Pleaser and Desert Eagle. I'm the Don. This is Games Point Blank, and we're going to talk about the games point blank. <laughs> So Microsoft has destroyed what was left of the goodwill and hopes and dreams of the Xbox fan base. And they're in the dire straits. And this June 11th showcase has to exceed everybody's expectations if they have any hope and prayer of salvaging this year and the rest of this generation. So we're going to go over a couple predictions each of us might have for this showcase. Desert Eagle, I think we should start with you. What do you think is going to get shown? All right. So I think Xbox is going to really showcase first time gameplay footage of Hellblade 2. I think it's been long enough. All they've shown is cutscenes. They've shown graphical environments gameplay with no ui so not actual gameplay i think this time they're gonna finally debut gameplay with ui yeah they've been hyping up the visceral combat and how the actress was doing all this training for this game so yeah i mean phil spencer damn near confirmed that this was gonna get shown and that it's coming out soon with the with that list of games he just started spotting off in that interview this was like one of the first ones so i'm pretty sure they're probably gonna give a release date if it's not the end of this year i think that's going to be the first game of 2024 probably january what do you think please january <laughs> yikes that's all i gotta say about that that means they're not gonna have nothing for november december i can see this game coming at the end of the year just because they need something for the winter they need a game we've been dying for games they can't expect starfield well i'm pretty sure all their chips are on starfield at this point they want that game to last for the next five years if they can but they need something to follow starfield because it's just releasing too early in the year in that september slot forza although it is will be that probably september october slot i don't think it's in any direct competition for starfield so they i don't think they always care about releasing it too close or far from it so i'm thinking it'll be a good slot for that november or even december yeah that's what i'm saying i think it might be november the way this year has gone they had to have had a plan before redfall and starfield got delayed from last year so it's possible it comes out this year november or d or even early december but if not january i think for sure the problem with these predictions now is phil spencer gave a lot of it away kind of he said that there was a collection of a game that's going to be ready soon and the only thing i can think of that's going to be is gears collection of one two and three but i think the twist on that is that it's gonna be all of them remade in Unreal Engine 5. And that's why Coalition has been silent for so long. Unreal Engine 5 Gears Collection would be insane. I can't even imagine how good it would look. With the lumen lighting and ray tracing. And think about just even part one. Is that that section where you're in the car and it's in the dark and you gotta use the light to kill them. And then when you get out of the, the car, you gotta stay moving from light to light. And I can just imagine that part of the game and with ray tracing and Unreal 5. With, like, it'll look incredible, just that game alone. You throw that on top of part two and part three, like it, that could be an amazing looking collection to really show the, the, the power of Xbox Series X, because, especially since, you know, all these PS5 exclusives that came from Bethesda that run worse on this system than a PS5. They really need something to showcase the, the power of the Xbox Series X. I genuinely think that although we know a Gears compilation has been on the table for a long time now, it's been heavily rumored. I do think that is a very good prediction, the Don. However, stating that they will have the trilogy of games and saying that they're all going to be remade in an unreal engine five environment that just seems like it would be a huge release for a collection i could see them possibly doing one game 
in Unreal Engine 5 and then, because that remake would look amazing. Are you going to tell me you're going to waste this on an entire trilogy when they can trickle that game out, part one, part two, and three again? I mean, he said a collection of a game. I, I mean, there's nothing to question there. I'm not questioning the collection itself. We know that that's been rumored. I'm questioning that it's being remade in Unreal Engine 5. You mean like Master Chief collection Correct. where they only had part two was remade and then part one Correct. was the original anniversary. Oh, okay. Like I, I have a real hard time thinking they're going to just give us just from the from the kindness of their heart give us three remakes in unreal engine 5. yeah they'll probably have maybe gears 2. crowd pleaser what's your prediction and i wholeheartedly expect some kind of announcement or some kind of trailer for either perfect dark or fable i look forward to seeing what one of those games look like and i don't care if they don't show a release date I don't even care if they just show a year and say 2025 or something along those lines. They need to show these games like they've been rumored for too long and Xbox needs star power IPs right now. They don't have many. They need to show off the games that people are actually interested in and actually purchased this console, this generation in when they were sold it at launch in 2020. That's actually my second prediction was that Microsoft was finally going to show Perfect Dark because all they showed a couple years ago was the logo, little fake CGI, you know, no game. So I think they're finally going to show, if not gameplay footage with no UI, you know, just plain gameplay, they're going to at least show cutscenes or something that will show you the art style, you know, what the game will look like at least, and probably a date to go with it. A date from what everything we're hearing, a date is very unlikely because it's still far off, but I do, I'm not expecting 2024 at the very least, I guess is what I'm going with this. Uh, maybe 2025 release. And if they say 2025, sure, fine. Because at the end of the day, I'd rather have a date that's two years out and say, hey, hopefully Hopefully it's coming then, then you tell me within 12 months <laughs> and I'm like, nah, you ain't getting me again, Microsoft. I'm going to go a step further. Not only am I going to say that this is going to be there with gameplay, they're going to announce this game coming out next fall. That's how far I'm going to take it. You know why? Because one, they got an outside studio making it that they don't own in Crystal Dynamic. The initiative is a, basically a ghost town with almost everybody quit and embracer group has crystal dynamic making a tomb raider game they're not gonna leave these people for two more years making this game that they don't own they're trying to cut tail and finish this tomb raider for amazon so i think this game is a lot further along than you guys think and they're gonna give a hard date for this coming out next year. It's a bold prediction. Hopefully you're right because they do need this, this IP. They do need it to come out sooner than later. And hopefully it can hold the candle to the original Perfect Dark, which was one of the best N64 games ever. Xbox's version, Zero, was that in my book, a Zero. It cannot be that. It has to be like the original. Hopefully they can pull it off. I hate to disappoint you that down, but there is no way in hell that Perfect Dark will be released anywhere near 2024. And if Microsoft has the balls to lie to us yet again and put that as a year release date, man, are we all going to be disappointed when it ultimately gets delayed into its true release date of 2025. I hope Microsoft doesn't do that to themselves or to their fans and sticks to what they know is coming 2025 and beyond. And if I were them, I wouldn't even put a release date, but that's just me <laughs> because I'm telling you right now, if I see 2024, I'm calling bull, I'm calling straight bull. I already know that's delayed, guaranteed. My next prediction is that they're gonna show gameplay of Avowed from uh, Obsidian. They're gonna put a release date on it of summer 2024. Maybe even tell like a synopsis of a story, but the release date is gonna be the, the big surprise moment that's like, june or may of next year i would even go further than you the dot and say that i expect this game to be announced prior to spring 2024 maybe somewhere in that fiscal year 2023 anywhere from Mar january to march january to april if you had to put me in a three-month window i would say february to april I, I can see that genuinely happening because this game needs to be come out man i don't even know why they haven't showed more of it but i'm hoping that we get to see a lot that's bold <laughs> coming out in the spring nah. 
<laughs> that would be crazy. That would be crazy. What else do they have? Crowd please are moving back to you. What's your final prediction? So for me, my final pick is that Compulsion Games will be showing off what they've been working on for the last several years. The last games that we've seen from them were We Happy Few. We Happy Few came out about five years relatively, and they have not done anything since. So I think it's very likely that we will see a game from them simply because they probably started on that game right after. And that would be in that five year mark. It's about time that they have something to show. We never heard any of those bad rumors like we did with Fable or Perfect Dark where they needed to kind of restart the entire or start from scratch. Because... You think they're going to show CG or gameplay? I think this game is pretty well off uh, to the point where they have something to show off. I'm expecting them to show me yeah i agree with the crowd please it'll be it'll be actual gameplay it has to be gameplay it cannot be cg or the dreaded logo reveal that's supposed to get people hyped that never does you think they're gonna put a release window on it i would say yes and, and i can possibly even see this coming in 2024 as well at the bare minimum summer or after i'm gonna, I'm gonna predict now when this conference is gonna start going south and that's gonna be first they're gonna start showing some indie games that nobody's really gonna care about and they're gonna follow that up with another forza motorsports trailer they're gonna talk about it for probably about five minutes and the reason this is gonna be the down point is because this is gonna be the third year in a row where they're gonna show this game again except they're gonna give a release date this time all rumors are pointing to october for that i think that's when people are gonna start losing interest in this thing <laughs> i mean it's definitely gonna be a down point because we already seen enough of the game. We know it's coming. Everybody's ready for it. I don't even think anybody needs a release date, to be honest. It's always in the fall, always. So everybody knows it's ready to go. Like, nobody cares. You don't have to show us anymore. Show us what's coming that we haven't seen yet. That's what people want to see. Yeah, that's going to be the bad part. They're going to show this for too long, and that's when it's going to... That's what people are going to be enough already, and then it's going to end with the date. But the problem is that the trailer is going to be too long, and people are just going to be like, we've seen this already, we know. For me, my blockbuster surprise of the show, and what I think the show will end on, is none other than Bethesda's Indiana Jones that game that they've been working on for quite some time. I think that it's going to be teased. I don't expect or anticipate any crazy gameplay or any super reveals, but I do hope there hasn't been any rumors saying that it will be shown. But I think that this game, when we're talking about IP and star power, the Indiana Jones game, when it was announced, it was just one of those games that, you know, it, it appealed to a lot of people because of the franchise itself. And I think it's one of their most eye popping names when you are thinking about Xbox brand or more specifically Bethesda. And I hope that that is shown in some capacity. It doesn't even need to be much once again. They can even end it on that the same way that Sony showed off Wolverine when they did. I mean, it'll have an impact. I don't think it'll have the same impact as Wolverine because it's just Indiana Jones. <laughs> well, in comparison, we're talking about Microsoft showing it off. So I think that alone would be like, oh my God, Microsoft, thank God. But in terms of it hitting like, like a Wolverine game would, no, you're right. But for Microsoft, I think this would be just like their Wolverine in terms of what we can expect. It won't be impactful like a Wolverine announcement, but it'll finally be the game that Microsoft has been missing from their library is an Uncharted type of game. This has to be like that. It has to be better in certain aspects. It has to be Unreal 5, so it looks amazing. If they could get Harrison Ford to do the voice, that would be even better because he just finished the movie. He could have gotten an extra check for doing this game couple hours of recording you know no big deal if they can hit those marks that might be a huge turnaround for microsoft xbox i'll tell you right now you do not want harrison ford doing that voice because he's gonna phone it in so bad <laughs> All right, so that's it for our predictions for the Xbox Showcase, June 11th, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Let us know what you think of our predictions. You could leave some of your own in the comments below, like the video, subscribe, and until next time, game on. If you liked our content, mash that like button. And if you're new to the channel and wanna see more content, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.